Okay guys, so at this point we're gonna um, start to add paint to our um, portrait. So you can see my gridded portraits here and I have my photo here. I'm gonna take it out of that sleeve. Yours is probably already out of the sleeve. You can see these sections that are here. These sections are going to be monochromatic. So that means one color with different shades and tints of it. So you're gonna choose one color that'll work for yours and help sort of with the word that's gonna be under them to communicate that further. Um, I'm gonna go with blues. So, um, and we'll talk about how we're gonna break these shapes up into those colors a little bit later. Um, but for now, you're gonna get a piece of long white paper like this. And on this paper, you're gonna break it into, let's break it into six different sections. So I'm just gonna draw a rectangle here in the middle. I'm leaving a border around it because, you know, I can mix in that border or whatever. So spread it, split it up in the, sec, in the center and then make one, two, three, and then two more lines here to make four, five, six. Okay, and I can number them. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six is gonna be our darkest, and then we're gonna work our way to our lightest. So my palette has a lot of different colors on it, but they're mostly dry. My blues and whites and blacks are the ones that are wet here, so that's what I'm gonna focus on. I've got a brush and I'm dipping it into some water here. You also wanna have a paper towel to dab it on, which I don't have right here, but um, you'll have those at your table. I'm just gonna use the cardboard here for now. So for that six, I'm gonna take my darker shade of blue and I'm gonna find a space on my palette where I can kind of work that paint out a little. I'm gonna take a touch of black. Now I'm not taking too much black there, just a little bit because if I take more than that, it's gonna eat up the color. So I'm gonna mix in that black there and get myself a pretty dark blue. And I've got a good amount of it here. We're, for today, we're just gonna focus on making this sort of spectrum of color. So I'm gonna take a little bit of water onto my brush because that helps it get a little bit more smooth on the brush there. So I'm just kind of dipping it into the brush and then I'm gonna paint this into the number six area. And I wanna just go right up to that line that I made, but it's okay if I go outside of it on the sides. And practice trying to get smooth brush strokes. So dipping your brush in the water and then trying to get nice and smooth with those brush strokes. You can also practice trying to get within these lines here because that is something you're gonna wanna do when you work on your piece. So using the outside of the brush to get those nice smooth lines along there. That's gonna be helpful when you go to do this on your final. And you wanna fill that space up with this darker shade. You may have to make a little more. So if you run out of it, you can take a little bit more of your blue or whichever color you're using, maybe orange or red. Yellow is kind of a tough one, although it does look pretty cool when you do it, but the darker yellow gets kind of green looking. You wanna to try to match. If you have to make another batch of it, try to get the same color. It's a little easier in your darkest shade. It gets a little harder as you get into your mediums. So the dark one is um, one that's kind of easy to, to blend. So we'll start with that one. So we're gonna wash our brush off totally and switch ends of the spectrum. So now let's make our lightest. So this number one here, um, again, I'm gonna get the extra water off my brush. You'll probably use a paper towel for that. Now when we made this darker shade, we used a lot of blue and a touch of black. When we make this lighter shade, we're actually gonna use a lot of white and a touch of blue. And blue is a color that I have a couple different shades of paint for. Not all of them are. So if I were using one I just had one color for, like purple, then I'd just take a touch of the purple and add it to the white. But I've got this lighter blue, so I'm gonna add a touch of this lighter blue here and kind of mix it in. And as I mix that in, it's barely touching it. If it were a darker color, it really would totally affect it. So I'm gonna take a little bit more of that blue, not too much. It's always better to add a little bit at a time, mix it all the way in, see how it's doing, and then see if you wanna add more. So this is like really, really, really light. 
which hmm, how am I feeling about it? I think I'll add a touch more blue, just a touch more, mix that in. And now I've got a pretty good light blue. And so I'll paint that into the number one. Now I've got paint all over my brush. I wouldn't want to use a brush like this on my final because this could really mess up those like delicate sections. But for this big box here, it's fine. I'm actually kind of cleaning my brush off into the box. And again, kind of taking a little bit of water so that we smooth out the paint a bit. Again, using this time to practice getting into the onto those like smooth lines. The lighter color, you can kind of see the pencil through. So you might have to do a couple of layers of color here. So now that I have number one and number six, I think at this point we'll go back to our um, actual artwork because the medium shades are much more challenging and I think we should go slowly. And so we'll come back over to this piece here. And let me see if I can zoom this out a little. Ooh, sorry. There we go. Now to get it to stay. So now at this point, So at this point, we're ready to start just with the darkest areas. So wherever there are those darkest areas on my picture, the shapes of those darkest areas, I'm gonna replicate those shapes here and try to darken them a little and number them. Number six. Okay, so I'm gonna find all my darkest areas like this shape here and I might have to redraw the shape a little so like this shape here that's next to the neck this is a really dark area I'm gonna come down into here kind of get this shape in around and up And I'm simplifying it a little. So that's gonna be number six. And you probably wanna make that a little lighter so it doesn't show up with your paint, just like a light number six. And then where else is it happening here? Number six. Here. Coming in like this. And 
So now I have some sixes on here. You can see that these are sixes. So all the sixes are gonna be this color, this darkest shade. So I'm gonna take that blue again and I'm gonna mix a good amount of it up with the, just a touch of the black. Get that really nice dark rich blue. I'm gonna take a little bit more black, a little bit more blue too, because I need a good amount of it. And I'm gonna come in here. Oh, a little more black. So it's a nice rich dark tone. And I'm gonna, I'm actually gonna get the extra paint off my brush this time so, so that I can control my brush. So I'm gonna clean my brush off and I may even switch to a smaller brush. Let's see what I have here. Um, yeah, no, I actually like the tip of this brush but I just need it to be really clean. So I get it totally cleaned off and then I can come here with it kind of wet. That'll help me control it, especially as I start to come into some of these smaller areas. Let's zoom you in a little. Oh, I can't. So I'm gonna really, really carefully, slowly into some of these areas. My brush is wet to help me get those smaller areas. I have another one here. Here. I hope people 